Um, my name is Salim Vuria. I'm the area manager for plan in quality development area. I think the, to get an idea externally is, is a good thing, uh, but that idea has to be blended with grassroots. It has to be contextualized because there are very many good ideas which may not be appropriate in, at the community level. So I think uh, my advice with people who have ideas and they have never been to Kenya or Africa or in the field is, is to leave the process to be homegrown so that the ideas that are coming from out are building on existing issues, so that the ideas are also looking at what kind of skills that can be, can be done on the ground and looking at also issues of sustainability. So it's, it's very important for somebody from outside the country to, to, to be sensitive to local conditions, local context, local skills, and also looking at putting ideas that can be self-sustaining. For corporate organizations uh, who are interested in making a contribution in ICT for development, I think it is important uh, that they, they foster and have partnerships with grassroots organizations that can really give them the issues because, okay, most corporate organizations are very innovative, uh, but working with grassroots NGOs and civil society that can give them the practical sense of those ideas, I think, would be a good thing to do. Okay, uh, one thing for organizations that I think are thinking that, uh, you know, of utilizing ICT, uh, one is, is you need local capacity. Like if you have a field office, okay, plan has development areas. Uh, in the development areas, uh, particularly for plan, you know, the ICT uh, technical people uh, should also uh, have an opportunity to, to lead the ICT for development. Uh, ICT for development, and, and I think what I have seen in the few years I have, we have been trying this, uh, it requires also the ICT function to be more available to community. It requires the ICT function to also work uh, around the program issues that uh, the team is thinking. So it, it's not just about looking at systems, looking at computers, looking at, but beginning to look at how can all these uh, ICT uh, skills be able to help to develop programs? How can the ICT function be able to, to support innovations that are also uh, going to enhance a uh, problem uh, solution at the community level? How can we use ICT to, to strengthen our interventions in community? And I must say from experience, the ICT coordinator for Kuala it has been more of a program person, and I think that is why we are seeing uh, all these gains. I remember when we were designing the, the community-led bus registration in one afternoon, we, we sat together and were thinking, how can we put all these ideas and, and, and include ICT in it? So I, I think it's, it's having an ICT function that is responsive to the program issues on the ground and not necessarily sitting somewhere uh, and looking at softwares. You know, even designing a software that would be more uh, responsive to what is happening on the ground, like looking at issues of child protection and seeing how can ICT uh, help the response mechanism. Uh, looking at issues of accountability and seeing uh, how can ICT uh, make a contribution to accountability processes in community. So I think that is the kind of ICT that uh, would, be, would be appropriate in the field. Uh, but also ICT function that also can learn, you know, learning from other people, but bringing the lessons, lessons closer home to see what can work and what can't work. Yeah, the, the, the message that I, I, I would want to, to uh, you know, uh, call on uh, stakeholders and development uh, organizations is that uh, a lot is happening in the world in terms of ICT. Uh, also recognizing that development is changing and 
ICT is providing opportunities for, for greater advocacy and accountability. And I think, um, yeah, getting the interest to, to look at all this and trying to say what does, does this mean for development, I think is, is very, very critical. Uh, the youth constituency is emerging as very critical and they have interest in ICT. I know like in Kenya, youth have been trying different things, different groups, but I think ICT is providing an opportunity for them uh, to strengthen accountability, but also to be able to get skills that they can use as individuals uh, uh, who can also make a contribution in the, in the economic development.